Today, we will explore in an easy way how the three most characteristic styles of steel wine are produced. So, let's begin. We have three glasses of wine in front of us. White, Rosé and Red. We won't talk about the grape variety or origin this time. We're interested in the basic vinification processes behind these three wine styles. We use green and black tea to represent maceration and extraction of color and aromatics from grape skins. White grapes for white wine are usually smashed and gently pressed, separating the juice from the skins. These are the brightest white wines with clean fruity aromas such as apples, citruses, stone fruit and lots of freshness. If we decide that we want to add some complexity and structure to the wine, we can macerate the grape skins in contact with juice for a few hours up to a day. However, we must be cautious to avoid any oxidation or excessive tannin extraction. To illustrate the pressing and draining of grape skins from the juice, we will use green tea. If we pour hot water over the sieve with tea, we see that water has only slightly colored. We have also avoided extracting any tannic substances. Same goes for fresh, white wine styles. If we choose to macerate a bit, we can immediately see that more color is extracted. We will also extract some tannins. Rosé wines can be produced in two ways, by blending white and red wines, although this is mostly prohibited in quality wine regions. More often, it's vinified through a process of short maceration. Red grapes are gently smashed until the skin breaks and juice flows out. Then red grape skins are macerated in the juice for a few hours up to a day, depending on a chosen variety and desired rosé style. After that, the skins are drained of the juice and the fermentation undergoes without any skin contact, same as with white wine vinification. Rosé wines are fruity, reminiscent of white wines in terms of freshness and fruitiness with additional aromas of red berries. For red wine, Fermentation occurs with grape juice in contact with grape skins. During fermentation, we stir and agitate the mixture. This prevents the grape skins from remaining on the surface. The frequency and intensity of stirring affect the amount of extracted color and tannin. Even with red wine, we need to be careful not to overextract, as the wine could become heavy, overly tanning, or even bitter. After the fermentation is finished, grape skins are drained of the wine and pressed. For red wine, Maceration occurs throughout fermentation with stirring. We see that the longer we stir and macerate the tea, the stronger the color and tannin intends to become. Keep in mind that this time we only talked about the differences in vinification techniques for different wine styles. The final wine style is determined by numerous other winemaking techniques, such as blending, maturation and aging process. Perhaps we could discuss this next time. If you are into wine, and like to watch videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cheers to you, until the next time.